You know, they say bad decisions make great stories. Well, stick around. This one's probably going to be epic. everybody it's a beautiful sunny day in May I'm in Harpers Ferry West Virginia right in front of the Appalachian Trail Conservancy this is the headquarters for the ATC and I'm about to start something that I probably got no business doing I'm gonna walk 2200 miles on the Appalachian Trail that's known as a through hike it's gonna take me about six months so you know they say bad decisions make great stories well stick around this one's probably going to be epic i got a little side trail to walk before i get to the official at which is uh probably about half a mile down so let's get going i'll see you at the start earlier of the unique obstacles 2020 is going to present any through hiker and the lack of maintenance on the trail because there are no volunteers out to cut away these blowdowns uh, I'm anticipating to encounter a lot of these you either have to go over them go around them or go under them so see you on the other side
I'm almost at the Potomac River where the Shenandoah River ties into the Potomac and there's a bridge that comes over the Potomac that the Appalachian Trail crosses over. Well back in December 2019 a train derailed on that bridge and took out the footbridge uh, that I would be walking over today had it been intact. It's not so I'm going to have to go around it and hopefully by the time I flip back down to Harper's Ferry in a few months that footbridge will have been repaired and I can easily cross over it on foot. So they anticipate starting repairs this month. It's May. I think they said by July 11th they should be done but you know there could be weather delays who knows but hopefully it'll be back in in and ready for me to cross over in a few months. But today, uh, I've got to find another way around it. So on the other side of the Potomac lies Maryland, and I'll continue the trail on that side. So see you on the other side. I am at the West Virginia side of the bridge that goes over the Potomac. You can see it's fenced off right now because the repairs haven't even started, but would normally come up here and go across. And this is where the damage occurred right here. So that's out. You can't get on the bridge by foot. Trains are still going over it, but um, that's the section that has to be repaired. So I've got to get over there. Right, so this is the uh, signpost at the West Virginia side of that bridge. And if you can see here, here's the bridge. I hiked here this morning up to the bridge. Uh, yeah, you are here, right? So this side of the bridge, I've got to get over here and then I'll be in Maryland and I'll continue up this way on the 18th. Okay, I made it to the other side of the bridge. I'm standing in Maryland right now. I'll turn around and you can see a section of the bridge through the trees right there, right there. And uh, I managed to get a ride around to the other side that had to go through Virginia and then cross another bridge into Maryland and then come back down so I could catch this uh, portion of the AT right here at the uh, other side of the bridge. So um, I was talking with about seven or eight other northbound through hikers. They've already made the uh, trek from Georgia and they were all the way up to this point. And there was actually two or three of them that were going to walk across that bridge, which is Close, but uh, I don't know if they made it or not. I don't see them anywhere, but uh, they started walking about the same time I was catching my ride, but hopefully they made it. And um, hopefully it'll be open by the time I get back down here. So I am in Maryland. I am on the uh, towpath that runs parallel to the train tracks. Uh, when I crossed into Maryland from the West Virginia side, that was my actually my first state line crossing, kind of unceremonial because uh, there's like no big party waiting for me on the other side, no big deal. But um, so I am walking along parallel to the Potomac River, which you see in the background. And um, shortly I should be up in the trails and ascending, I think it's going to be South Mountain. Uh, as soon as I get off this towpath. Tow 
and I'll either make camp at the first shelter area or the second shelter area. Depends on how I feel. Right now I feel okay, of course. I'm just starting out. You know, the, the pack feels a little heavy, but we'll see. I may have too much gear in there, but I'll figure that out, I hope. So, onward. So I just came off the uh, end of the towpath parallel to the tracks. You can see uh, cars behind me here, day hikers that are using that towpath to get outside. And the trail is uh, just right up ahead of me. So that was all flat for, I don't know, a mile and a half or so. And it looks like we're gonna start ascending up into the mountains. So right behind me, right there, is the trailhead going up. So let's go. I am at the Ed Garvey shelter. It's the first shelter on the AT as you come up from the Potomac River and West Virginia. So I think um, I'm about, I don't know, eight to 10 miles today, I'm not sure. But I'm at the shelter. They're officially closed. Uh, they don't want gatherings still, so I'm not sure if they'll be opening soon. I think there's some tent spots around here and there's a, a water spring. I'm gonna stop here for lunch and decide if I'm gonna go on to the next shelter down the trail, which is about four miles away. Probably take me about two hours to walk it. I'm not sure, I don't wanna stretch it today. I wanna uh, not go too far today. Just kinda of ease into the trail a little bit, but we'll see, but I'm gonna stop and get some lunch and decide what I'm gonna do after that. It's a great view here too. So you probably can't tell with the trees, but uh, a little valley down in there and another mountain range over there. <laughs> 